Hey there, this is Jamie here to bring you a tutorial today using my page mask pack for the September M3. In this tutorial, I will be using um, Photoshop Creative Cloud, but you can just try to follow along um, if you are using any other program that supports clipping masks. Um, this also works in Photoshop Elements the same way as in Photoshop. Okay, so let's get started. I have two variations to show you. Uh, the first being a very art journal-y type page and the second a more uh, scrap focused page. Um, so let's get started with the art journaling page. Um, the first thing I would do is browse through all the fabulous papers um, that you have and choose which ones you want to use on the um, page now I've already I've already done this uh, for to for time purposes so um, I went ahead and loaded all of the papers that I want to use and second you want to go through the page mask um, folder and figure out which one you know which one you want to try out now this is um, it's it's really an experimentation that's kind of the kind of the a fun process is just experimenting and seeing which which pays mat mass um, blend well together so um, the first one here I've just used one of uh, my painted um, backgrounds and then what I really like here I'll show you is a very nice um, page by Michelle I believe and here is the mask under here so you want to make sure you have the the mask underneath the paper and what you'll do is you can either hit your alt and left click right in between the layers here that's a very quick way to clip or you can simply right click on the paper here and create clipping mask okay and you see how that blends really really nicely there um, so the second one here I have I've already clipped it let's just unclip it so here's the second one and actually let's move it around let's oops let's move it around here no I don't want to do that sorry about that let's first just clip it and see what it looks like actually that looks kind of cool Let's see what happens if we pull it out a little more. Yeah, that looks all right. And I have a third one, a border. Um, and another paper. And you see how everything just kind of blends really nicely, you know? Uh, you can go like that or turn it or whatever. Or you can just um, make it like white gesso. By um, this is what I would do hit the lock transparent pixels hit your D on the keyboard to reset your um, your colors and then hit control and backspace and that will fill it with the background color and see how that's kind of like gesso on the paper um, even try moving things around and seeing what you like better and flipping it around gives you lots of ideas or maybe you want to hide it a little more and drag it underneath here and flip it so this is just really showing you how you can combine the page masks and papers and and colors to just really create a, a unique uh, art journaling page if this is what you like to do okay and my second one I'd like to show you is a little more traditional um, traditional I don't know uh, a little more scrappy a little more photo focus a little less um, art journal like um, I've already created a page here and I'd like to show you a few ways you can use um, the masks combined with papers or colors to really just make your pages unique so First, I'm going to show you this mask here. Uh, I like it because it really just creates a vertical uh, composition here with the paint. 
And I've chosen three papers to show you here. And as you can see here, um, I don't even remember whose paper this is, but I really like this because it's very subtle and already has uh, many, um, a lot of white and paintiness. So really combined with the mask really looks pretty. And the same goes for this one. Um, so it doesn't look so solid. It looks already painted and a little um, distressed. And then I have one of my papers just to give it a little bit of a color boost there. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then you could also try a um, border around. And this is where I like to I like to give a little more um, busy page a try. If you, um, this is, some people really struggle using busy pages and I love using busy pages on paint, paint masks like this. Um, and even if you find this still too, too bold, try this out. I'm going to just toggle that off. Here is my border and there's a lot of border there as you see. I'm going to duplicate it by dragging it down here and putting it to the new layer and then I'm actually going to turn it around until I, I think that looks good so what I'm gonna do is just apply that I'm gonna control and click the little thumbnail in this layer so you have the marching ants I'm gonna turn off the visibility I'm gonna select that layer below and I'm gonna hit Add layer mask. Boom. See how that just um, subtracted this from this. Pretty cool, huh? And now let's clip the paper. So a little more subtle and a little more uh, unique because you you altered this. So you can do that with anything really. You know, you can just uh, flip it around. Control click, turn it off, clipping mask. Whoops, I did the wrong one. Sorry, I didn't select the right layer. Select, make sure <laughs> you select the layer below. Clipping mask, and you can just, you could keep doing that or combine different ones. It's really cool. Anyways, that's a little off topic. Um, if you want to use a busy page like this, it's awesome. I love this page, by the way, <laughs> as you can see. Um, but you want to tone it down a lot. What you could try to use this type of over overlay, and you could either turn it white, like I showed you before, the control and backspace, and it tones down a lot and makes it all brushed white, or you could just clip a uh, lighter paper and it doesn't have to be this paper it could be purple paper or whatever um, so yeah I think that is everything I wanted to show you um, so I hope this tutorial gives you some ideas um, to help you create like unique pages that fit your style whether you are just a scrapper or your art journal or page masks are just awesome um, so give it a try Thanks for watching.